Oh, that's right, baby. J Rock is here, and it is time for J Rock's for Netflix, The Ice Road. J Rock got an opportunity to check this movie out, and so you are not going to want to miss his review of this movie. Come on back, and let's talk about this. Hi, J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in here and in with the millions? <laughs> and millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. That's right, baby, J-Rock is here. And we got to do our movie versus trailer review for Netflix, The Ice Rose. For, uh, for those of you who have not seen the movie, uh, if you don't want it spoiled for you, definitely click off the video, go back and watch it. And then come back for J-Rock's movie versus trailer review. You let J-Rock know in the comment section which one did you think was better. Was it the movie or was it the trailer? All right. Now, y'all know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And uh, let's talk about this movie. So just to let you guys in on what this movie is about, all right. J-Rock says um, there is this these miners and they are uh, working down in a tunnel and there's this explosion that occurs right and so what ends up happening is um they are trapped in the mine and so the part of the country they're in the only way to get to it uh within a certain amount of time is to travel on the ice roads right their oxygen is running low they don't have a whole lot of time to live some have already died because of the explosion some are hurt and so now they gotta, you know, recruit all these drivers to, you know, go on basically what they call a suicide mission because they gotta get in these big semi trucks, 18 wheeler, you know, loading all this weight onto this already heavy vehicle and they gotta drive across this, these icy lakes, all right? Um, and so basically it's, you know, a lot of tense moments in this movie and so Let's, we're going to go through the trailer. We're going to look at it frame by frame, you know, and try to see exactly, you know, what's happening in that part of the movie to try to see exactly, okay, is this in the movie or they take that out? You know, how do they do this? All right, let's check this out. What the hell was that? All right, so right here, we see basically the two main characters in the movie. Uh, Liam Nelson, I can't remember his character's name, and his brother on the, in the passenger seat named Gertie. Now, you'll notice here that this is a piece of cardboard right there, all right? So, most semis don't have cardboard in the window. Something happened, all right? And we're gonna get to exactly what happened. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of tense, thrilling moments in this movie, and if you're a good, you know, you're, you're a fan of, you know, action, suspense, thriller type movies, J-Rock definitely recommends to go check this movie out. Um, I'm not gonna say what's happening here because this part of the movie is towards, towards the end. So, uh, but I'll definitely come back to it. Uh, but there's an avalanche that's occurring right there. But, uh, now I think, let me go back. If you notice right here, right? You notice this shot right here? The avalanche is coming down. There's this, this is just basically the main part of the, of the truck, all right? doesn't have the trailer attached to it but and this part right here the the cardboard window watch this check this out now you see the avalanche coming but then you see this truck uh, here and there's a semi behind it there's no semi behind it in the other one all right in the other cut all right so you see how they editing these trailers to make it seem like there's more going on than it really is uh, but we'll talk about this in just a minute All right, so there's the alarm that's happening. Basically, it's letting everybody know the explosion just occurred. These um, uh, miners have been trapped in the, in the mines, right? And so they now gotta try to put together and formulate a plan to get them out, all right? See right there, the explosion, the miners. Now, J-Rock didn't like this jabroni right here in the movie, okay? Uh, because basically what happens is because the explosion occurred, a lot of miners died. But there were some that were just injured and hurt and they were just holding on until you know they got the uh 
the trucks there to get everybody out. This jabroni, this Rudy Pooh candy ass, uh, decided that he was going to try to put together a vote to decide, hey, there ain't but so much oxygen left for us to breathe. And y'all are hurt. Y'all are injured. So the likelihood of y'all making it the whole, well, I think it was like 36 hours before our oxygen runs out, is very unlikely. So let's put, let's put it to a vote. Who thinks that we should just kill these jabronis, these injured folks, and all the rest of us who are just alive and well can live? Right? That was this jabroni right here. Right? Now, the guy behind him, I think he was the, 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 the supervisor, uh, says, no, we're not going to do that. And he threatened to uh, light a lighter because there was so much methane gas down there where they were that if any little spark, boom. So he said, okay, if you're going to kill them, we all going to die. Right? He had a light in his hand. But let's keep going right here. There's the explosion. All right, so what happened is Liam's character, his brother Gertie, uh, is a war veteran who has PTSD. But he also has some sort of uh, malfunction junction with his brain. Doesn't allow him to, to speak sentences eloquently. Right, he can't formulate proper sentences. You know, he'll instead of saying, "Hey, there's a car coming," he'll say something like, uh, "Coming car uh, is coming, might be something like that." So his brain, and so he and his brother uh, work for this trucking company, and some of the workers there were making fun of his brother. Liam's character comes in, punches one of the dudes in the face. They both get fired, and so. So now he's looking for work and then he gets this text, you know, to uh, go on this rescue mission. But he's been on the ice roads before. All right. Yeah, I'm putting together a rescue mission. All right. So this is what I mean about these trailers. All right. This trailer, when I saw it, I'm sitting there thinking, OK, Lawrence Fishburne's character is talking to Liam Nelson's character because you just heard the audio. I'm saying, yeah, that's not what's happening. All right. That's why I do these reviews try to pick apart these trailers to try to see exactly how they're piecing it together. Lawrence Fishburne is the man who is going, I can't remember his character's name. It doesn't matter what his name is. The fact of the matter is, is that uh, he's putting together a crew to go on the suicide mission. He's the man in charge, all right? He has to find some uh, people that actually want to do the job. One of the drivers is in jail, all right? He goes and bails the driver out, and I can't remember her name, and tell her what's happening. He's talking to the uh, to the lady in this part of the movie, not Liam Nelson. See? Yeah, those are the sort of things I noticed. Y'all may not care about that, but I noticed that sort of stuff. Let's move on. Uh, all right, so they're trying to get people out. Uh, and again, a lot of this, you know, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat, a lot of this movie, trying to figure out, oh my God, what's, what's going to happen? So I like the intensity and the buildup they was doing right here. It was it was a uh, good uh, climax build. I need 300 feet of pipe delivered up there in under 30 hours. Can make it happen. Uh, you had experience on the ice road. Yep. Use some cannon. All right. So this is his brother Gurry. Even though he's um, has some brain damage, he's a damn good mechanic. And I think it's in the trailer where it's going to show y'all what he does right here. Yeah, so he took together uh, part of an engine in what, super fast. And I'm sitting there like, damn. Bro, man, kind of. Hey, bro, can you help? Can you come fix my ride? You know, I'm <laughs> like, bro, I need, you know, some work done on my car. Like, but anyway, uh, he was super fast. And so they ended up getting hired. They were going to be. Uh, this gentleman right here, he's the guy that was talking to him to try to put everything together. Uh, but let's go on. Yeah, that's the driver. He uh, bails out of jail. Well, what's it for? Bail. What? Told you this wasn't gonna be easy. But she can drive her ass off, and it just so happens that one of her brothers or her brother is one of the miners that's trapped. So there's a little plot twist to it right there. But she's parking the rig, so that's actually her driving uh, in this scene. I'm in. Right. Yeah, 
yeah. So that's them driving on the ice. And that was a lot of, I'm, I'm, again, a lot of tense moments in this. Because you think about it, you know, how thick must this ice be in order to be able to support that much weight? Right? But let's see. The only way up there is crossing the ice roads. But that lake has been thawing for five weeks now. So it's been thawing, okay? But they still got to drive past it. A lot of suspense. Can they make it? Mm. And, and make matters worse, they're driving during the day when the sun is out. Yeah. 30 hours of air. Yeah, so this is what's happening right here. He's trying to put together this vote, like I said earlier, to try to see, hey, should we kill the people who are alive or the people, you know, that are, that are struggling to be alive or, you know, so we can have more oxygen? I did not like that guy. We're able to accomplish this. Exposed. All right, so here's what happened. All right, <clears throat> he just said we're gonna be exposed. They, the 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 company the miners are working for, sabotaged this whole thing. Th what happened is that there are these methane gas meters or detectors that tell them if there's some methane gas and how you know in the area and how much. Well, the company didn't want to pay to keep them on. So they paid some mine workers an extra, extra money to turn them off. And because they didn't think there was no methane gas there. All right. And the supervisor ends up asking, you know, uh, one of the workers, why are these off? They're like, uh, -huh. but he was in on it the whole time. And so what happens is that the methane gas causes the explosion. And so the, the company that the miners work for, they're trying to cover it all up. And that's when things really start to uh, go sideways because the insurance, I mean, the, the miners, co the, the company doesn't want these drivers to make it. So you got, okay, now, now things really get suspense full. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, man, whoo wee, they got the ice roads, it's cold. They got all this weight on this ice. Uh, they don't have a lot of time to get there because the oxygen is running out. And now they got their, this, come to find out there's this whole conspiracy. What's going to happen? Well, right here, it's part of the movie where they actually have to just get out. And we'll keep going because you'll see what happens then. So the question's time. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the uh, explosions that I believe causes the uh, avalanche. Sabotaged. Yeah. So they've been sabotaged, like you just said. Brother is in that mine. Yep, like you just said. So these are the guys who work for the mining company. <laughs> They're trying to stop them. And you'll notice no cardboard window in here. So this happens before everything all hell broke loose. This is um All right, here, let's see. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, right there, they're trying to sabotage him. Explode. All right, so you can see, uh, let me go back. All right, you see this guy right here? He was sent on the mission or the drive with them disguised as some sort of, you know, actuarial uh worker with the company to assess risk and try to save the company money that's not really what he's there for he's there to sabotage the 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 whole plan he's there to make sure that these drivers don't get to the uh destination right so you see he and liam fighting because uh, he's trying to commandeer the the semis and leave them out in the cold Right on the ice roads, and so they're fighting back and forth. Right here, oh my God! So this part of the movie was kind of shocking, right? Um, here's what happens: <clears throat> the insurance guy that I just told you guys about, he sabotages uh, Lawrence Fishburne's truck, right? And I'm only saying his real name because I don't remember the character's name. But Lawrence Fishburne's truck gets sabotaged, right? the insurance driver does something to the head gasket causing his truck to break down 
So keep in mind, right? All this weight, right? All this weight on this ice that's been thawing for the past five weeks in daylight with the sun is out and the head gasket goes out. What do you think will happen? The car is going to shut down. It's going to it's going to shut off, right? So you got all this weight that's just sitting there on thawing ice. Yeah. So what they end up having to do in order to try to, you know, get the truck moving again because the ice is starting to crack. All right? They show they show you that the ice is starting to crack. And so they actually try to, you know, hook up all the tra you know, the, the, the vehicles at once to help pull it off. Unfortunately, uh, they don't make it in time. What she's doing right here is this is one of the cables that were hooked up to Lawrence Fishburne's truck. If you can see his the arm right here, this is Lawrence Fishburne in the ice. All right. He and his truck go through the ice because his leg get caught up in one of the cables that they're using to tie the, the semis together and breaks his leg like his leg does this and it was ugh, it was hard to watch and he gets pulled down and he's telling her cut it cut it cut it or we're all gonna go in and she has to cut the cord he ends up drowning and getting killed um, and I'm sitting there like damn For real Damn, man. Damn, that's man. Now, now, mind you, I wasn't aware that this was a whole uh, thing that they were being sabotaged because they didn't hadn't mentioned anything about it at first. So I'm sitting there like I'm thinking this is some sort of freak accident, and I'm like, oh man. And so now I'm like, okay, now I really gotta see what happens next. See, this is the part where the ice is starting to crack. What the hell was that? So, this is another reason why I break down the trailer. Because they're connecting the two together, you know, selling it as though he's inquiring as to, is that the ice cracking? No. What happened is that they were trying to get the trailer because the back wheels had gotten, you know, had gone through. And so they were trying to use one of the, the, the winches to pull it out. But unfortunately, there was too much weight. And it was starting to, you know, peel, um, come off. And that that's when he was like, what the hell is that? So it has nothing to do with the ice cracking, by the way. They're just throwing that in there to make it try to, you know, seem more suspenseful. All right, so these little shakers right here, one of the drivers was explaining what happened. And I'm sitting there like, Do you smell what the okay, rock is cooking? because it, it made sense how she was explaining it. The way the driver explaining it, she was the, uh, the driver. She was like, the reason that we have to those things they were using them to detect movement in the ice, right? If it starts shaking too fast, and that usually means the ice is cracking, and they have what's called an ice wave. And so they have to drive a certain speed because if they drive too fast, it'll create this ice wave because of all that weight. And then ice cracks, bam, you go in. But if they drive too slow, that's too much weight on the ice. The ice cracks anyway, and you go in. So they gotta go a certain speed, but they gotta be there in a certain amount of time. Man, I'm sitting there like, okay, this is good. This, this is gonna be good, all right? Yeah. So again, this is another part of the that they put in here. They try to connect the two together with the with the uh, uh, tricky editing to you know at least make me think. When I'm seeing this in the trailer, I'm sitting there thinking he's responding to the sound of the ice cracking. When in fact, that's not what he's doing. He's responding to the fact that his truck is stalling. Right? The temperature on his truck was going up, and he kept noticing it. Then finally, he heard this big pop, this big bang in his engine. And all of a sudden, he was like, oh, sweet Jesus, that ain't good. And he uh, was responding to that. So he, in the trailer, it looked like he was responding to the ice. But in fact, he was responding to what was happening with his car, with his truck, rather. Good. Spreading out. Yeah, so 
because his vehicles, I mean, his car, uh, his truck stalled on the ice, it was starting to crack everywhere. So they had to move rather quickly. It's going to keep cracking for two, maybe three Yeah, they were hooking meters. everything up. We're going to have to run tight together. Go. Yep. All right, so right here, he's in the truck. He's They're freaking out like, no, you, you, my truck can't be stopping right now. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, my God. The last thing you need right now is for a truck to be stopping that semi stopping right there with all that weight i'm like ooh, ooh, ooh. suspense it is so i'm on the edge of my seat i'm like like i ain't breathing i ain't moving i'm just and then he ends up dying i was like oh, you got to be So yeah, they're literally having to drive to uh, escape the cracking of the ice. But remember what I said, they drive fast, it's creating an ice wave. And so they're now swerving. All right, so let's go on to the next part. Yeah, so they end up crashing and turning the semis over, um, over on their side. And I found it quite interesting because they were driving to get away from the ice cracking, causing an ice wave, right? And then when the, the, the semis flip over on their side, the ice stops cracking. I'm like, what the hell is that? It's still the same weight, but maybe it's, I don't know, shifted a different, I don't know. I'm still, but that's still a lot of weight that is not on, uh, that's on the ice, I mean. So I was like, oh whatever but they were in the they were able to you know use a um, a winch to get them back up you know upright and drive safely but what happens after this part is kind of jacked up it is really jacked up what happens after this part all right so this part right here is uh, towards the end of the movie, they've all been through hell, you know, fighting with the insurance guys, fighting off the henchmen and all that other stuff. And the, um, this young lady, the, she's one of the drivers and Liam's character's brother, Gertie, end up in the same truck, right? They, they get across this bridge right here, all right? You see this icy bridge, which is very, very... Uh, flimsy because it's because it's frozen and there's a lot of weight so it doesn't have a lot of support keep in mind it's ice and uh, they don't have great traction so halfway through the bridge they start slipping so because they're not getting traction with the wheels and so his brother has to get out and put uh, some traction pads underneath the wheels so they can start getting traction traction again a lot of weight not very you know this bridge can't handle all that weight that's just sitting there and it's cold so now the bridge is starting to fall they barely make it across the bridge but there's a gate on the other side that needs to be closed because the semi is starting to slip because of the ice well Gertie has to get out he has to get out and close the gate the problem is the gate lock is frozen so he's sitting there pushing it, trying to get it down. All while at the same time, uh, the semi is going like this. He's right here. The semi is doing like this. The, the gate is right here. He's in between the two. He ends up, you know, finally getting the gate locked. The problem is, is that he does it too late. And he ends up getting crushed between the semi and the gate. And Gertie dies. He died right there. I mean, the the driver she was trying her best to get some traction to to, to keep it from slipping, but don't happen. Hey, you can see the the bridge falling apart. We're coming. Just hang on. I think this is um, uh, Lauren F Fishburne's semi that ends up in the water.
All right, so that's the end of the trailer. But I'm gonna go back here at the beginning of it. So this whole avalanche was caused what the hell was that? because um, the insurance guy that they were that was there to sabotage everything. They finally get rid of him. They kick him out the truck. He he takes one of these um, these snowmobiles that one of his henchmen or one of the you know henchmen I guess uh, leave behind and get end up getting killed. He drives it up this hill and he's going up this hill and he peeks down and he sees the trucks <laughs> and so he takes a uh, couple sticks of dynamite sticks them in the snow lights the fuse causes the explosion which caused the uh the avalanche to, to happen again this is towards the middle end of the movie um which just i ain't like the dude man i mean so he played his role well uh, i didn't like the whole sabotaging thing um they end up killing the guy because liam was in one of the semis and he was like okay i'm gonna cause an ice wave to occur and then i'm gonna jump out and i'm gonna leave him inside and that's basically what he did he called he sped the car up i mean the, the truck up so fast that it caused this big ice wave and he jumps out and by the time the the guy realizes what's happening the ice is already cracked and he's going in all right and he's inside the truck so he ends up drowning but so j-rock says this we now have to answer the question which one was better was it the movie or was it the trailer well looking at the trailer you can see that the trailer um did an excellent job of you know explaining you know the suspensefulness the action you know the thriller part of the movie good storyline easy to follow uh wasn't all these complicated moving parts um it was easy to follow, easy to understand. But, um, so we got to answer the question, which was better, the movie or the trailer? What do you think was better? If I mean, if, for those of you who've seen it, what did you think was better, the movie or the trailer? J-Rock is going to have to say that as great as the trailer was, the movie lived up to the hype. It lived up to the hype. The movie was better than the trailer in this particular case. Um, because again, I don't know because I re wasn't really paying attention. Uh, but there are a lot of things in the movie that really didn't get explained until later on. Like, you know, the whole insurance guy, uh, with Liam Nelson's truck being sabotaged. They tried to, you know, pin it on the girl and was like, oh, because she got fired by, uh, Lawrence Fishburne's character before, um, and they thought she was out for revenge and so he tried to you know you know blame it on her and say well you're the reason why his truck got jacked up and so they tied her up uh you know when it was the insurance got a whole tie and it was a damn good movie i will definitely be watching this again if you have not seen this movie yet uh definitely go check it out i mean i explained it based on what i remember but i don't think i've done this movie any justice on how good it actually was it's a damn good movie probably about i think it's around two hours ish around there somewhere but movie was awesome off the chain action packed loved it in this case the movie wins even though the trailer was damn good um because it had a lot to live up to the movie better than the trailer now the rock wants to know hear from you guys what do you think was better was it the movie was it the trailer all right again i explained it best i could based on what i remember but you won't really grasp how good the movie is until you actually watch it you know what i'm saying it's sort of like you know if i eat a piece of chocolate i can describe it to you tell it how it tastes but until you actually taste it for yourself you won't know how good it is same with this movie i can explain it to you left and right up and down sideways until you actually watch it you won't really know how good it is so i'm recommending that you go check this movie out all right post your comments down below and let j-rock know uh what you thought of his movie versus trailer review and if you appreciate it and enjoyed it 
make sure you hit that like button subscribe and share and be sure to hit that bell so that you can be notified when it is time to be electrified thank you for joining j-rock until next time mamba gg and wakanda forever if you smell how what j-rock is